Hi, this is Don D. Uh, you'll find me on my website at dond-wp.com. Uh, we're going to have a first look around uh, X6. Uh, this is X6 in, in the centre of the screen here. And what we'll start with is when you first start it, you'll get the startup wizard. This is set to uh, come on when you first start it from the desktop. And uh, you'll think, well, nothing's really changed here from X5. You've got all your old, um, all your old uh, sites there. Then you've got this here, start a new site, user design template. What's changed? Well, what's changed is when you go to start a new site, you'll get a new site wizard. And this is where you can set things up, um, a name for it, um, an option is the URL, if you've got one put it in, if not you can put one in later. Uh, the size of the uh, default size of the page you want to use, so if you're going to do, be doing a, a, a phone site then you've got 320 and 640 and then you've got other sizes as well or you can do a custom and how many pages you want in the site to begin with. You can choose the colour scheme. Next. Navigation bar. You can choose what nav bar you want. I'll just okay that. Next, assets. Now this is new and I'm going to be going into this later in a tutorial. Uh, you'll find once we've come out of the new site configuration we'll have a an assets tab on this side and it's I think it's a very good improvement um, over what we had before of the um, the bar at the bottom of the screen where, where you add all your assets. With this one it is different and comprehensive. So we'll go into that. You can save your site now um, and just click finish. There we go. And you'll see here, which is okay, it's larger, here's the assets tab. And on here you've got layouts, so these are all quick um, quick buttons for HTML text box. Uh, there is no um, creative text box anymore, uh, only HTML. Uh, pictures, panel, photo gallery, table, calendar, and you just click and drag onto the onto the page to set them up. Navbar and buttons, interactive things here, you've got the rollover, pop-up rollover, um, search, search results, Google and AdSense. And you just click these to make them smaller. External management control. Um, these are um, you got the frame document. Then you got the blog. You know these are all your smart objects, news, forum, and RSS. Then you got the social media, where you've got uh, Facebook, Widget, Twitter, and Google, or you can have a complete bar. If I just click this and drag this onto the page here, this will come up and you can choose and click over onto the, this is the default uh, buttons that are on the, um, the bar um, and you can add your own if you wish and then OK it and there's the, 
the uh, the bar social media bar on your page and you uh, did you see the um, dynamic lines that you can line things up now quite easy with other objects and there should be one in the middle of the page there's the one shows you the middle of the page so that's that's dead middle so then we've got the media flash and YouTube and sound and everything forms all your form controls are there and e-commerce so that's all what you want really mainly are there all the other items are on the menu bar here under insert and you see here text frame you see there's only one text frame uh, HTML pictures a normal gallery panels table navigation here uh, interactive objects there smart object which you used to be on the side here that is now there um, you can make your own uh, toolbar to go onto the um, top of the uh, above the page uh, up here um, with ones that you're going to use all the time which are not in this asset tab and all the others but we'll come to that so if we at the moment you see our, this uh, navigation bar I've set up here it's only got um, just the one because I've only got the one page so if I add a page or two you'll see the nav bar grow as it should do because it's a dynamic uh, nav bar so if I just make this a little bit smaller and I've got X5 behind so you can see some of the differences uh, I'll get rid of the assets tab you can have that f f permanently in permanently out or automatic out um, if you go down the the side tab here you've got um, pointer that's the same then you've got uh, text box where here you have got HTML or creative uh, you got artistic text you've still got that there um, and that's the table you've got a table tool on the side there that's also on the assets tab picture picture there quick shapes quick shapes here um, lines well there they are and then you've got sound now these now are not on the side here they're in the assets or the insert menu under media uh, then you've got that's the, this is the nav bar here uh, you haven't got it on the side you have to on the assets tab or on the menu and you'll notice that some of these items here are blanked out the same as here you've got this that's the um, transparency tool but there's quite a few that are greyed out until they're needed Because things have, have changed in the, in the toolbars, uh, the navigation bars have uh, have been updated um, to make it easier. It, it's taken me uh, a week now, or a week or so, to to get used to them. Because, um, like, for instance, side 
uh, site properties uh, used to be under file now it's under edit um, insert you have got more insert objects there now uh, quite a few of these are the same I think the, these here are uh, file edit and that are, are the are the main ones that have changed and over here slight differences in the way that the, the the tree looks here you'll see here um, the, this home page here on this this site is ticked so it's in navigation now there is no tick it's deemed to be in navigation until you take it out of navigation and and then you get a cross there I'll keep that cross on there for a second I'll show you something now um, site manager basically the same uh, color scheme is the same site structure now this is different completely different um, this is going to take some getting used to I think until you find your way around if I click site structure um, here we are this is what the site structure now looks like you've got all the site all the parent pages in one long line there and then you've got plus at the bottom so you can expand it and there again uh, what you can do with this is for instance I can click roll mouse here click and drag and you'll see as it goes over a page you get a box that appears on the left hand side or the right hand side and when you're over it you can drop come on. it should move no nope, there must be a problem there oh there you are you got to you got to put your cursor there my mistake still not used to it you see i'll try it again move it across put the, the your cursor on the on the square on the side and then it's moved and it's the same if you want to put it on the on the bottom there we go to make it a child and you can um, click press delete to delete pages so you can work in this in this uh, site structure to move things around and delete pages you can even do it by um, right clicking on the page so we'll close that and we'll go back to the normal site if you have a look around there's um, the zoom control is now in the bottom right hand corner it's not on the toolbar at the top and uh, this is this has been changed as well down here uh, this navigation if you look remember how it is on the X5 and that this has been updated um, and you'll see here that the X5 which is out of navigation has got 
an X beside it to say that it's the hazard navigation, same as these ones. So that's a, a quick look at X6. Um, there are new items within X6. Uh, if you look on my website, you'll see this object, which is a sliding panel. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this because it can get a little bit complicated. And it's very good. I, I, I've tried it now for a, a whole week and it's had my head in for, <laughs> for a little bit of it. But anyway, I'm going to be going into that um, at another time. Right, that's, that's all for now, I think. Okay, bye-bye.